What's up you guys? A happy Tuesday to you guys. So I'm really excited you all because we have a live event that is happening today, this evening, this Tuesday at 7 p.m. So this event is going to be for all of you students. It doesn't just have to be pre-PA students. Anybody who has ever kind of struggled with a high stakes exam or anyone who, you know, you kind of just want to make sure that you're doing the right tips and tricks to um, make sure that you're succeeding in these high stakes exams like the GRE or the MCAT or the PA CAT or the pants. So I'm going to be speaking with Dr. Adam Rosh of Rosh Review. We're going to be talking about some tips that you all can use to succeed in high stake exams. So be sure to join us this Tuesday, today, this evening um, for that live event. I will put the information, the link in the description box below. Okay. So this video is actually going to be about the transcripts. So we are gearing up for CASPA. CASPA is opening up at the end of April, April 29th to be exact. And so that is our central application site. That is where you're going to be putting in all of your application information for PA schools. And an aspect of CASPA is the transcript request form. And it's one of the important aspects because it is where you are getting all of the grades that you've ever taken from all the schools that you've ever gone to placed on your transcript and then sent to CASPA, okay? So someone asked me a question about that. And so we're gonna be talking about all of the various different nuances and moving pieces about the transcript request and when you should get it done in this video. What's up you guys, this is Adana, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join this family. If you are already part of the family, welcome you guys. So I have a question by Paul Yang. He asked, when should you request for your transcript? And how long does it usually take for the transcript to come? So this is a great question, Paul, and it's a really important question. Although it's simple, it's very important because your transcript is like the one thing that can make or break your PA school application, okay? So for PA school, you have a GPA requirement. Most schools require that you have a 3.0 GPA, be it cumulative and science, okay? There are some schools with lower GPAs, but the majority of PA schools require a GPA of 3.0. With that being said, if your transcript is not right, and not tight, you not get into PA school, okay? You are not getting an acceptance or um, an offer for an interview. And that can be affected by your transcript request form that you have through CASPA. So in CASPA, there are forms for each di various different school that you're applying to that has to be inserted with your transcript um, that you're gonna send to, you're gonna give to your program, your, your undergraduate program that you were attending. Uh, be it a four-year degree program or a community college because you were pay taking more classes like I did. And then those schools are then going to send that transcript request form and your transcript to CASPA, okay? However, if there's something wrong in that little like link, that chain of events, it could really mess you up. And so I want to give you guys some tips um, that I've learned from some silly mistakes that I've made in the past and that some other people have learned from, you know, that have come before you to help you guys not make those mistakes and really better yourself, okay? So with your transcript request form, you need to ensure that you're looking at when does my classes end, okay? So for me, I knew that my school ended in like May 9th. And so I was like, okay, I need to go to these programs and ask them, hey, when are the teachers required to have their grades in? Because I made the mistake in the past before where I did not ask that question. I gave them the transcript request form once I completed all of the courses and they had not yet put in place all of the new classes that I had taken into my transcript. So my GPA was not where it needed to be, to be super competitive. And that's what I wanted. And I did not get any into any of the schools that I applied to. And that was kind of like a gut punch to me, okay? Because I'm like, dang, you know, why is my GPA lower than what if I calculated it as? I knew I looked at this. There's no way that it should be this low. What is going on? And I found out that, hey, not all of the grades that I had um, and the classes that I had completed had been placed. And that was a big deal because I got A's in all of those classes. So it would have boosted my GPA up significantly. So go to your schools, ask them when teachers are required to have their grades in, and then when the transcript will be completed. 
once you have that information, you guys, then you can choose to be like, okay, I'm going to now give you this form to request that my transcript is sent to CASPA. This form has to be placed in with the transcript. Please make sure that is done because CASPA will look at the little numbers on that sheet um, and your name and the information that is provided on there so that they're matching it up with the right application and you know all of that all of those pieces need to be in alignment so that is one thing that you should absolutely be doing make sure that you're also looking at the deadlines of these applications okay if you know that you are in school um, until like July or the beginning of August but you have programs that you are trying to apply to in September that has a September 1st deadline for the application you need to make sure that you are actually getting this thing done in a timely fashion okay so with respect to the transcript when it is requ when it's requested your school takes about five to seven days to actually get it sent to CASPA now once that's done CASPA takes about five or so days to actually have it uploaded to um, your all of that information uploaded in to your CASPA application and it takes up to two weeks for them to truly verify your application and that's when you are saying hey my application is done please send it to my first or two schools or how many ever schools you're gonna apply to once you hit verify so with that being said if you end school in August like second week of August you request your transcript or your school takes a week to get that transcript done it's the third week of August and then now you're completely done you CASPA has about two weeks to get that transcript completed and your application verified you're very close to missing that deadline and you might actually miss it. So these are things that you have to pay, pay attention to. Pay attention to these little nuances. Um, you know, that's why it's essential for you to get all of this information because these things are things that you really should know about but you don't know about when you're navigating this application season for the first time. Um, so that's why I made this channel. So if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe because it really helps my YouTube algorithm out a lot. So subscribe and like my video, okay? Um, but apart from that, you guys, on a real note, it is essential to be meticulous when you are going through this application and when you're requesting your transcript, okay? So it can take up to two weeks for all of that information to be requested. You should re request your transcript as early as you possibly can. Now, what I mean by that is, again, if your school takes about a week or so to actually have your transcripts and all of your grades um, added to your transcript and your transcript completed, make sure that you are in that window. Do not request your transcript before that two week period is done. And in that being said, you then need to ensure that the applications that you're trying to apply fit into that timeline so that you're not kind of edging yourself out of a deadline or applying to a school because you've missed a deadline um, because there's no point in applying if you've missed the deadline okay trust me I know okay these are some of the mistakes that I've made I'm like oh, okay you know it's only one day late no no no, no. that's that's not don't waste your money look at all of the, the other programs that may still meet the requirements that you have for your PA school and apply to those schools okay for sure for sure make sure your GPA is where it needs to be make sure those grades are where they need to be um, and make sure that you talk to your school registrar and say hey this is really important I need to know when these grades are going to be completed this is when I need them sent after the grades have only been uploaded to my transcript and then you can request that that transcript is sent to CASPA um, you're not going to be able to see what CASPA calculates your GPA at until your application is verified so keep that in mind bear that in mind the, Calculating your GPA and all that stuff is things that you're going to need to do on your own. If you've gone to several different schools like I did, that is something that you're going to have to calculate. And, you know, it's time consuming, but it's worth it. If you've only gone to your undergraduate school, then you should be easy. Whatever your school calculates your GPA at, that's likely what CASPA is going to calculate it at as well, okay? So thank you, Paul, so much for asking me this question. This was great. If you guys have not left me a question here or comment, please do so. Leave it in the comment section below. I want to ensure that I get to all of your questions and answer them um, in a timely fashion. So please do that. I do make videos out of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at AdonThePA and on Instagram at 
get back to university, please go ahead and subscribe and like this video, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!